Falls. I'm here with, uh, with uh, Joel Goderer, who is the f- co-founder of Life Pro. Uh, he has his own remarkable uh, healing story where he uh, first discovered the wonderful power of vibration therapy to recover from uh, an athletic injury much more quickly. Now, since that time, he uh, and his partner have further developed Life Pro into a wide variety of health and wellness techniques. Uh, and we're going to be talk about uh, some of those devices. Uh, and uh, that's really been a very instrumental uh, part of uh, my therapy. Now, I, I do want to remind everyone that Joel is a seminar sponsor. Uh, and I love doing these interviews because that gives me the opportunity uh, to let you learn more about the devices uh, and the therapies that I'm using in my own healing journey. Uh, so welcome, Joel. Hi, hi. Thank you. Uh, and I have to open up our questions again because somehow I lost them. Uh, awesome. Here we go. Take your time. So uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, the vibration plate. Not everyone uh, understands um, the difference between the various vibration plates that are out there. So, you know, some are this triplanar up and down, some are oscillating. Uh, tell us more about your device. Uh, and what are the unique advantages for the devices that you've created? Yeah, sure. So oscillation is fundamental movement of these machines. It's the most researched, most natural way, because that's the way we walk, right? That's how it uh, imitates how we walk from side, shifting our weight from side to side and with much less impact. So it allows a lot, you know, it allows a lot of people to have use of it because it's not so intense on the body. You know, this style of movement brings a lot of functional improvements when a single session, you know, if someone can jump on it, they'll immediately feel an improved balance and stability very quickly. Like it doesn't take, you know, you don't have to wake up for six months to see the benefits. You can see it immediately. Overall, there are a lot of debates, you know, which is the best type of movement. There is there's several different types of vibration technology out there, but we're proud to say, which we, we reached our mission. We had an initial mission of impacting a million lives when we started that brand. So August 15, we hit our goal. Oh, why am I, Yes. So why am I saying that? Because, you know, we have sold close to a million machines, meaning it's not only, uh, we have a million customers, but they're not necessarily all bought, you know, our vibration training. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying nearly a million. And we have released many different styles of vibration technologies and Basically, based on the feedback that we received from all our customers, we, we noticed a very, you know, common denominator that oscillation is the preferred movement and it's much easier to use. So uh, that's the main um, yeah. type of movement that we have vibration. Then we have pulsation, which is designed to be a little more calmer and, you know, for those that feel the oscillation is too intense. And then we have the horizontal movement, which is designed to be to challenge your balance even more even more than oscillation. So those are the three types of vibrations that we offer. And again, for everyone who's listening, this is a device uh, that I personally use. I, uh, uh, as we age, our um, position sense declines, our balance declines. And so training for my balance uh, is really important. Also, because I have osteopenia, as a result of all of those years of frequent steroid use, I'm very concerned about my bone density. Uh, and this is a terrific way to increase bone density. In fact, my treating medical team is like, you're in your 60s, but your bone density keeps getting a little better every year. Uh, wow. And you know, next week I'll be going to get another bone density. Uh, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing what we're gonna be up to uh, 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 next Monday. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. Do share. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just think it, it, it's really uh, a, a gentle way to get uh, some uh, balance and strength training. Uh, I, I'm careful to, to do push-ups on it, to do planks on it. So I, I'm stimulating my arms. Right. Uh, and of course, uh, standing uh, and doing my standing exercises, uh, including uh, squats, uh, lunges, uh, and bridges. So, right, right. Yeah. So the plate is like a, an environment that you're on, right? So you're doing the same right. exercise. It's not like you have to do a separate workout. It can be integrated in your 
you know, your typical workout exercise session. So with these it stimulates your muscles, your tendons, improves your circulation. So everything is easier and quicker. And uh, do I have to worry about where I locate this in my home, Joel? Can I put this anywhere? Do I have, does it have to be in my basement or do I have any limitations there? That's a very, very good question. So for the general, we've very rarely heard of any issues that it like vibrates the home. It's not, it's a very safe machine. There's no issue. Sometimes if depending how the home is built, you might, you might sense, you know, the vibration, you may feel the vibrations through the floor, but it doesn't do any damage. If that's the question, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, no. Yeah. Now there are, uh, there are other uh, vibration technologies that are much more uh, challenging to uh, foundations. Uh, yeah, and the, those more vigorous triplanar uh, technologies do have different requirements than the oscillating right. type that uh, Joe right. has described. Right, right. So, um, and again, that's uh, one of the reasons why uh, I prefer the device that Joel has. It, it's safer for my home uh, and it's safer uh, for me. Right. Now, um, in addition, you, there's a couple more things that you didn't have them on your list, but uh, I've gotten from you that I really like that the, the circle, um, the circular uh, half dome thing that I, I can step on, step over. Um, yeah, and I, it's a very nice core strengthening uh, routine, okay. uh, imbalance training routine. The, the horizon balance ball? Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. that is an, another way, another tool you can use that can stimulate and challenge your balance and improve, especially as we age, right? We, we want to make sure we stay stimulated and make sure we maintain our balance. So yeah, that's a, that's great. Awesome. I'm, I didn't even know you got it. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, my physical therapist told me that I needed to use some uh, exercise bands uh, and wanted me to, uh, you know, progress from the red, blue, uh, and get up to black bands uh, for that sidewalking. Right. So, I, so, I, so yeah. Uh, and again, um, th those are really lovely bands that you guys have that help support um, your gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. So right, I appreciate right. those. Yes. Uh, and then, um, Joel, you, you got you've gotten into some new, uh, very exciting technologies with light therapy. Uh, yeah. And so let's let's talk about light. Yeah, it's been a very, very exciting year. A lot of new tools that we're working on to help, you know, our members reach their health goals. Light therapy has a very long history, and we've been able to bring the benefits shown in research to our community with our light therapy products. So it, the light therapy offers a new way to heal and restore, you know, anything from skin surface conditions to aches and pains is a lot of our members are utilizing both technology together to maximize the session time, right? So they'll have the, they'll have the light therapy turned on while they're doing the whole body vibration. Yeah, so so everyone who's listening to us, uh, there, there's more recognition that certain wavelengths of light as they hit our skin uh, will penetrate the skin. Uh, and in so doing, they activate the mitochondria. In the mitochondrial chain, when it becomes more efficient, can run the chemistry of life more efficiently. Uh, and so red light therapy has been used uh, um, for pain management for, for decades. It's also been used by the dermatologists for uh, treating a wide variety of skin disorders. Right, right. Now, um, how are your uh, people using the light therapy, uh, Joel? Very good, very good. So I want to just explain a little more about red on, and infrared. Those are the two types of light therapies that we offer currently. We have more coming in the pipeline. So one number one is a lot of people ask is, do we have UV present in our light therapy? So we do not have ultraviolet light, which we know is harmful for us. So we do not have that. So there's no risk of damaging your, you know, your skin, any delicate skin that you may have. So, I don't want to, so what I want to talk about is there are three red light therapy is referred to low level laser therapy in studies, mm -hmm. low power laser ther therapy, or some may know it as photo photobiomodulation therapy. So whenever you look at research studies, they refer to different types, but all the same, essentially it's the same thing. So we have right now we have red light. Red light is ideal 
the skin surface applications, right? Skin is our lar largest organ. It is, um, so with red light, it addresses any skin surface conditions and can accelerate any wounds that you may have or any type of skin conditions. Then there is infrared light therapy, which is invisible. Now, a lot, you know, as strange as it may seem that a lot of customers order our red light therapies and we have a combination in the devices. Some LEDs, LEDs are infrared, some are red light. So many customers, you know, they complain, hey, it's not working, it doesn't turn on. So I want to clarify, the infrared is not visible to the human eye. Hmm. It's not something that you see. You just feel the warm. You, you, the, the only way I've noticed you can see it is if you use your phone camera and you point at the infrared lights, the ones that look invisible, you'll see through the camera lens that is, you know, you'll see a little redness. You'll see that it's turned on. That's the only way to know if it's mm -hmm. working or not. So I just wanted to bring it up because a lot of people get confused and yeah, don't understand. Yeah, get confused. I, I Right. I've been confused with some of those uh, devices for, uh, from time to time. Right. I, so, and so um, for what kind of things would I be using your uh, red light? So uh, pain, some discomfort. Right. Yeah. right. So infrared would be used for below the skin surface for aching muscles, help repair tissue damage, it helps you speed up recovery, helps you manage stress and tension. That would be the infrared. The red light is more skin surface conditions. That's when you would use either or. Usually our devices are combined, but just so people understand the differences between the two, when to use what. So it, uh, I'm thinking if you've got a skin rash, if you, uh, if you have sort of uh, acne, uh, if you have um, some more peeling on your skin, uh, this might be a, a, a 100%. Good, good thing. 100%. Okay. Uh, now let, let get me vain here. I, I'm I'm 66. I'd like to keep looking great for you know, another 10, 20, 30 years. Is the red light going to youth in me? Going to make me continue to look great? What, what's the thing on aging there? Very good. Yes. So you would use a red light therapy. So first of all, you look great. I don't know why you even think you need anything. <laughs> but let's say you you convince yourself that you need to use a tool. Yeah, red light therapy would definitely be a great tool to use. That would definitely help keep your skin healthy and young. Okay, excellent. And, and how long uh, How long would these light sessions be, Joel? Right, very good question. So it depends you know, on your results in general, but usually two to three minutes at a time, you can do it multiple times a day. And um, I wouldn't do like, you know, as usual, you have people that try to overdo it, like don't do two hours, right? Just do small, short sessions, do multiple sessions that are more beneficial than doing a longer session. Okay. Now, have you been observing that people are uh, doing more uh, of the uh, self-care, do-it-yourself uh, approaches to their uh, wellness plans? Yeah, for sure. The last few years have been very interesting times, as we say, <laughs> and it has caused us what we have seen, especially in our business, we've seen that many customers or many home users, so to say, meaning it's not so commercialized, they have been a lot, they have been emphasizing in self care because we were home for two years. You know, people ha were forced, and every all the businesses were closed outside, so they were forced to find tools and different concepts to maintain their self care. Right, so it's been an extremely trending um, market, so to say, where is yeah. you self therapies trying to find different, you know, red light therapy to do at home, to do whole body vibration at home. To, so people started paying attention to their health much more than ever. That's just my, how I am seeing. You know, it, it certainly matches my observations as well, Joel, that uh, people are more tuned into um, that what we do for our health is vitally important and that we're really appreciating being able to do more of these uh, technologies uh, at home. Now, you, you have uh, been very entrepreneurial in your health and wellness journey. I'm sure you have some interesting things that you're working on. Uh, what's on the horizon for you? Right, that's a good question. We have a lot happening. And the way we, right now, we, we are focusing on the sauna, uh, the infrared sauna, the far infrared sauna. So that's our next um, category, so to say, to offer to our customers. Our customers are asking you know, for more ways to improve their health and wellness. And the way we develop all our product, we never release a product just because I think it's a good product. It's always about listening to our customers 
and um, hearing what they want, what they wish for. And, and that's how we develop uh, future products. So we try to match it, right? If someone says, hey, yeah. make a pair of socks, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but it's more about what, what else can we bring that would enhance our customers, uh, you know, their well-being. That's ultimately what it is. That's why we have, if you look at the red light therapy category that we, we have built out, we have, we have a small red light bowl that you can use on the go. You have, if you want to target a larger part of your body, you have the BioHeal. If you want to wrap it around your lower back or your neck, we have the Alibra Red. You know, so we have a multiple variety of different tools to try to accommodate different use cases. But we're very excited. We really uh -huh. are excited for the upcoming year. Joel, let me, let me pitch an idea for you to think about. Um, okay a cold plunge you know, yes I, I think more people are getting uh, are aware of the benefits of cold showers yes. uh, ice baths yeah. cold plunges um i i think a uh cold plunge tank uh would be a really uh wonderful yes. Yes. Uh, innovation and i'm hoping that there'll be a future conversation that you and i get to have that it also includes a, a cold plunge Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not supposed to be talking about that, but we're definitely trying to work on something super affordable and portable to be able to do cold plunges. Oh, that sounds oh, yeah, exciting. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's probably that. will be, I'm guessing, mid 2023, June. -ish. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, that sounds uh, very exciting. You know, Joel, it is yes. so much fun chatting with you. Uh, I love uh, the collaborations that we have. Uh, and I, I love my vibration plate. Um, I, I, I certainly think that has been a very uh, big part of why instead of having my bones get, you know, more and more fragile, uh, they're getting stronger and more vital. And, and it's certainly part of how I maintain my strength and my balance. So right, right. awesome. 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 Yeah, sure. If there's anything I can do for your community. Maybe we should develop an MS program together, whole body vibration. I don't know. I mean, just yeah, you know, it's, cer it's certainly it's certainly something for us to think about. Uh, I think um, that's a very um, we will think about this, brainstorm together. Um, you know, maybe there is a little pilot study uh, where we are using uh, vibration uh, therapy devices in in the home uh, with folks um, with more advanced MS uh, that are really struggling to exercise. Uh, that could be a very uh, exciting little pilot study. Yeah, sure. I'd be very excited to participate. Okay, well, we should wrap this up. Um, awesome. It is wonderful chatting, wonderful visualizing this uh, great healing journey for our, uh, our tribe. Uh, and I'm thrilled to have you as a partner, Joel. Thank you so much, Terry. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.